vehicles to Russia and uh, if you weren't, uh, the reason? Yes, uh, the uh, system pinged when he was uh, leaving the United States. Um, uh, by the time he returned, all investigations uh, had been, the matter had been closed. After having talked to the FBI, they told me they had no knowledge of him leaving or coming back. The name was Miss Bell, so I would like to talk to you more about this case, how this man left, where he went, and when we say there was no broader plot here, I just don't know how in the world we know that at this early stage. This is a very active, ongoing investigation. Uh, all, uh, all threads are being pulled. DHS clearly denied him uh, to be naturalized uh, as a citizen for some reason. So I think, you know, not to criticize because I'm a big fan of the FBI's, but to go back and see that we plug loopholes is really clear. And Dagestan, the place where he went, is sort of the epicenter of terrorism right now in the Caucasus, even worse than Chechnya, where the, the violence has been largely suppressed. Uh, this was a bad day for uh, the security services. It reminds me a bit of what happened after we caught the underwear bomber who tried to blow up an airplane over Detroit. Janet uh, Napolitano famously said right afterwards, the system worked, which means that the only reason it worked is because he sweated into the bomb, which dulled the fuse, and then civilians tackled him. And I also remember the president saying, I think it was in that incident, that it was an isolated incident, even before he knew. And I have that sense here. The administration is trying to at least imply that this is sort of isolated, a couple of wild and crazy guys who set off this bomb, no connections. As Lindsey Graham says, how do we have any idea? And I would ask if, the, if these guys were so low on cash that they had to go around to ATM machines with a guy they hijacked. Where did they get the money for the weapons? Uh, where did they get the suicide uh, jacket? It isn't exactly on sale at Nordstrom's. with continuing to get the facts and data, but only for, the, for finding out what happened, where we're going in the future, and making sure it doesn't happen again. Well, Democrat uh, saying no problem about moving forward, but Democrats have a problem now with this 46-page interim progress report by five committees run by House Republicans in it, scathing indictment of the administration, uh, saying reductions of security levels prior to the attacks in Benghazi were approved at the highest levels in the State Department, up to and including Secretary Clinton, that the White House and senior State Department officials altered accurate talking points drafted by the intelligence community and um, in order to protect the State Department, and I'll read this quote. Specifically, after a White House deputies meeting on Saturday, September 15, 2012, the administration altered the talking points to remove references to the likely participation of Islamic extremists in the attack. The administration also removed references to the threat of extremists linked to al-Qaeda in Benghazi and eastern Libya, including information about at least five other attacks against foreign interests in Benghazi. Senior State Department officials requested, and the White House approved, that the details of the threats, specifics of the previous attack and previous warnings be removed to insulate the department from criticism that it ignored the threat environment in Benghazi. Well, the Democrats can say it's a partisan attack, but when you produce documentary evidence of a charge that what she said in her, uh, when she addressed the Congress was not exactly right, that she was not aware of these security uh, demands well, and let's, threats. Let's play that sound, but it was going to be your sure. bump in sound. Um, Go ahead. The specific security requests um, pertaining to Benghazi, you know, were handled by the security professionals in the department. I didn't see those requests. Uh, they didn't come to me. I didn't approve them. I didn't deny them. Well, what the report says is that there is a cable that she signed which acknowledges the request by the then ambassador for additional security and that nonetheless orders the withdrawal of security assets in Libya. So that's a contradiction to what she said. And the other damning evidence here, again, it doesn't matter who the source is, it's what's, you know, the actual, the, the facts of the matter, 
that they did edit the talking points to remove references to al-Qaeda, which fits in the pattern that we discussed even earlier. The attempt always to try to pretend that these aren't part of a global jihad, whether it's here, it's, a, it's Boston, the underwear attacker, or the, the, the Fort Hood shooter. It's, it's a constant. In this administration, there's a way to say, no, it's not. It's a one-shot deal, and let's go on. And I think it's, that really is the problem that underlies all of this. This has been a Sunfish production.